Welcome to Modern Hackers. Please subscribe and do not forget to like the video if you have enjoyed. Hello folks, welcome back. In this part 2 episode of Alpha Model AMG GT Black Series, we keep going the build. In the previous episodes, you did see how it's prepared, how it's primed. In the today episode, we will paint it. That will be the focus. I made you available uh, these blue, dark blue renders. So in the previous episode, it was dark uh, gray, but this will be the final color will be dark blue. You will understand this, this episode why I'm telling this to you. Um, also, I additionally printed these 3D uh, wheels. If you're interested, these uh, Sepang uh, wheels I will place uh, in the video description a download link just don't forget the wheels uh, not created uh, exactly for this model so I made some modifications in the barrel and the connector side length that if you want to use the same wheel for the same alpha model kit you need to make the same modifications on your own just to keep in mind the print came out well, cured, and the idea is that I will use with the original rubber tires, so the same size as the original one, It'll give a different look and feel for the model, a more aggressive racing style. For the wheels, I have to lower a little bit the level of the car, so I a little bit carved out from the wheel holders, send it out, not too much, just one millimeter roughly, not more, to lower enough the wheel to have better look and feel, with this wide body kit. This stage before the painting you have to do uh, checks, fittings, lowering, later point in time it's more difficult. Prime the wheels with uh, Mr. Hopi 1000 and after 1500 uh, surfacer. I also primed the 3D extensions like the rear wings. The left and right spoilers. This is also part of the body kit. And let's the painting get started. So I started this journey with a Mercedes color. The color code and name was Anthracite Blue Metallic. During the preparation, it looked nice. If you see that, it's also a sparkling a little bit and shining a bit a tinned mixed sprayed with thin layers
start getting this dark grey blackish anthracite color. This stage I was happy with the result, how it is going. I also used a smaller airbrush for approaching the inner side of the body, the connection point. After it's getting darker and darker and not getting the anthracite blue for some reason, this pain, high volume of pain, paint core point of view, not returning that uh, shiny look and feel, sparkling final look and feel I wanted to achieve. But it's getting more to the color, it's not showing what I wanted to see. I could say that. You, you can say this, hey, why, why not you make a test paint? Because most of the cases, 90% of the paints, you're getting what you want. And this paint probably not gave what I wanted because this was a uh, color paint shop mixed paint. Probably the mi during the mixing procedure, it became more darker and not what I originally configured. But no worries on that. I used for an advantage this situation. Let's have as a base flat primer surface for a wonderful build on the top, um, some reflecting other colors. So I uh, send it with 3000 sending uh, just to not have any issues with that. And I selected uh, the Stamia LP color, which code name is pearl blue, so LP47, pearl blue, it's shining, sparkling, it's like, it looks like a flip-flop paint with some blue and purple particles in it. I already used this paint previously on another project, I had this available, so that was a perfect fit to, to use it, uh, because I know how this paint reacts uh, well. And it's, it's, it's really overshining what I wanted to achieve with this. So the whole project I converted to this bluish. Uh, the blue will have better to have the, the extensions, the white body kit, spoilers, uh, more look and feel. The spoilers will be uh, painted black, but the base uh, body will be uh, bluish, dark bluish, with this sparkling and shining uh, lacquer paint of, of Tamiya. So for this Tamiya, uh, I used the Tamiya uh, lacquer thinner to have smooth surface. It was a wonderful selection and, and choice. And you can see from this uh, blackish uh, uh, automotive paint, it's turned into a blue and purplish, uh, dark blue, dark purple color, which is continuously reflecting and shining. If you see it uh, under the sunlight or with the LED light, it's wonderful showing up a two component flip flop paint deserve this project to have this look and feel that was my feeling I also cut out the extensions and photo edge details for the brakes and brake calipers if you cut out better to uh, remove with a small sander machine uh, the edges epoxy resin blue because you can still able to position where you want and after it's give a strong bluish result you could use also instant glue after the first layers of uh, blue paint remove the imperfections and dust before going to be the final layers on this to have a more, more smooth surface you don't need to wait too much it's, it's curing in less than a, a half hour 
if it's if, if you if you're working with thin layers and the 50 minutes half hour you can send this depends on your temperature with the normal room temperature I'm talking about you need to make sure with these paints paint brush I brush you you adding enough layers I also painted with the simple blue the the brake calipers for uh, integrated look and feel if I would own a real alpha model AMG GT I would make paint the same way the same color the brake caliper like the, the body not have red or other maybe so um, finalizing with painting have a standard body on that and now the lacquer layer is starting I use the two component automotive uh, varnish lacquer layer which using uh, also hardener so you need to mix uh, one stage uh, varnish and half stage hardener and uh, additionally you add thinner based on the ratio that you, you can spray out you need to thin enough with these uh, high pressure airbrushes to have just coat with thin layers the first layer uh, should be thin the second layer can be thicker on the third, fourth, fifth or sixth layers you can go more uh, thicker ones you need to continuously monitor the thinning ratio if you, if you see some orange peeling you need to increase the thinning ratio that's the logic nothing serious, that's all you should not over spray because then it's just collecting the dust between the layers you should wait 10 minutes in room temperature before you spray a new layer on the top you can see now uh, this uh, flip-flop color started reflecting so the blue and purple showing up at the same time two component uh, automotive uh, locker will give a solid coat on that uh, I will at the end after the coating I will uh, spray some uh, maybe something for the roof or the hood semi-gloss or, 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 or matte sections on that but I want to make sure I have a strong 2k two component coating which preserving the, the paint quality on the level I want that's a critical stage of the body don't worry if you see some dust in it uh, that's the whole logic of the two component paints that the dust will come on the top and you will be able to sand this down and you will be able to polish down you don't need to worry on that point is that the dust should not stick on the surface if, if the dust particle is just floating in the locker layer you can send this down and you can polish it this uh, third fourth fifth sixth uh, coats should give a equal finish an equal look equal surface if you just reminder if you see orange peel you need to add more thinner or more layers don't don't leave on that level or you monitor if the orange peel is disappearing if not disappearing the orange peel then uh, you will need to spend more time on the sanding just wasting a lot of time and energy better if you monitor the thinning ratio and the temperature thinning ratio and temperature go hand in hand higher temperature, the more thinning you need it. So 
you can see if you follow this rule it's pretty much giving a forgiving surface look and feel flattening out on the surface without any issues if you're interested in the two component uh, varnish locker brand you can find in the video description what I'm using but you can use any other brand beautiful results look and feel if you like the video please follow the channel and the next episodes on this thank you for watching modern hackers please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have enjoyed